The work that I will present was developed by me, Matilde Rodrigues, and my colleague Susana Gonçalves, and addressed the role of environmental health in disaster management. As we know, disasters can occur, affecting human health and well-being. From these disasters, environmental health problems arise. They are related to effects on the environment that can affect human health and well-being. As a consequence, disasters management should involve contributions of environmental health professionals. In this presentation, we will address the role of environmental health in the field of disaster management. However, since we are dealing at this moment with the pandemic and we are performing some work in this field, I will present new inputs that we believe that are relevant for this conference. In fact, during the pandemic, environmental health professionals have been played a critical role to ensure population safety and health. However, at the same time, they are facing several constraints that can jeopardize the effectiveness of their role. In order to help environmental health professionals over the role during this phase, an international work group was created as a task force to endorse environmental health practice. Environmental health practice and interventions in disaster management around the world were raised from the literature. Results of environmental health intervention in several disasters, such as Hurricane Katrina in the United States, the Dragon Grand Fires in Portugal, or the Bellevue Hazards Waste Fire in Australia were emphasized. Literature denoted relevant environmental health interventions and practice in the field of disaster management that can be summarized in four main rules. The first one is reducing the vulnerability of communities to hazards, increasing their ability to respond to widespread disruption and to recover rapidly. The second one is collaborating in hazards identification and risk assessment. And then we have the strengthening routine service so that the potential health effects of emergencies and disasters are minimized. And then uh, responding to a disaster considering several elements such as drinking water, hazards waste, uh, general waste sanitation, mass gatherings, among others. Despite the relevance um, and competence of environmental health professionals in disaster management, there are some barriers that uh, limit their practice and that have been discussed in the literature. These barriers include the ambiguity about these professional functions in disaster management and their limited representation in some phase. Um, we also have the low visibility and the profile of the profession, profession and the positioning of environmental health within public health. A colleague from UK denoted also that environmental health professionals' um, invisibility or visibility was linked to a number of factors, including a lack of understanding of the rule and expertise among other professional groups and local politicians, leading to exclusion from decision-making committees. Additionally, there are reports uh, that public health has been chronically underfunded, in particular in the US since 2008 recession. This has left public health system with insufficient human resource to deal with the day-to-day -day activities, a constraint that becomes even more obvious in the case of a disaster. The pandemic stressed the relevance of public health professionals all over the world, in particular of environmental health practitioners. In an effort to contain the, the virus, a variety of environmental health measures were planned and implemented. In different countries, environmental health professionals were called to act as agents of public health in many different roles. They were uniquely placed to help deal with, uh, with the crisis caused by this pandemic, having an important role in responding both to immediate threats and long-term implications. 
There are diverse roles and responsibilities relating to promoting safety and health across occupational, domestic and commercial settings are uniquely valuable in the context of a major pandemic. However, these same assets are also required for day-to-day -day management of important environmental health issues. Given the limited human resource, environmental health professionals may temporarily abandon their day-to-day -day role, creating gaps in service and performance of critical activities essential to public health and safety. For example, surveillance of food, premises, water quality, or built environments, among others, very others. To improve the role of environmental health profession professionals in ensuring population safety and health during the pandemic in different countries, a work group was formed to discuss current and prospective roles and responsibilities of environmental health professionals in the pandemic response. The group consisted of academics and representatives of professional associations from different countries, including Portugal, US, Australia and UK. In this work group, um, we discussed uh, the role of environmental health professionals in different countries during the pandemic and shared experience. Um, in particular, in Portugal, the practice of environmental health professionals was different according to the pandemic situation, according to the region, local level, and according to the institution where they were working. In the public health units, during the lockdown period, several environmental health professionals were exclusively dedicated to epidemiological investigation. Um, they were dedicated to the investigation and follow-up of positive case and their close contacts as well as to the investigation of the source of infection. They identified and followed each chain of transmission Additionally, they were responsible for collecting information from each confirmed case, as well as uh, providing information about appropriate control measures. In some locals and institutions, they were responsible for assessing the conditions and developing contingency plans of several facilities, such, such as nursing homes, several occupational settings, food facilities, among others. Um, they are also collaborating on the selection, installation and operation of emergency facilities in the assessment of conditions in public space, public facilities and sports and laser facilities that are reopening to the public and on, on protecting workers' safety and health. During the pandemic, the lack of human resource was emphasized on the news. Uh, in particular, the ones that are operating in the public health system. To solve this problem, recruitment grants were open for different uh, health professionals, including environmental health practitioners, to endorse um, the health service, including public health system. This is a good help, but not solve the main problem. The public health system is like in human resource, and the control of the pandemic was more difficult in some regions due to this situation. Companies were also, are also recruiting these professionals to help in the development and implementation of the contingency plans. Um, other problem identified was the difficult to coordinate different entities, such as at local level, the public health units, the hospitals and the civil protection. Uh, according to small groups of discussion, we realized that in locals where this collaboration works, the control of the pandemics was more effective. It was also observed that when an environmental health practitioner was integrating the team in different entities, uh, it was easy to understand the measures to apply it in the different phase, uh, and they usually speak the same language. So, faced to the current experience, we believe that it is important to endorse 
the training of environmental health professionals, integrating the best practice adopted across the world, preparing future professionals to better deal with pandemics and other disasters. But the intention should not be only preparing these future professionals to operate in the public health system. Environmental health professionals are also critical in civil protection service and in occupational safety and health departments. If we include environmental health professionals in the service department, the response to emergency will be more effective and also easy to coordinate interventions um, of different entities. Thank you for your attention.